Hello everybody, welcome back to City Skylines. Here we are inside Manjarvi. And um, if we jump into here, you can see that I do in fact have the um, campus DLC now. So yeah, this is going to be a bit of a campus area, just right here. I don't know exactly how big it's going to be, but it's going to be roughly around something like this, I don't know yet. But hey, that is the whole point of improvising, so that we can learn and whatnot, I don't know. Anyway. You're the main building. Saima Järven yliopisto. So that'll be this little section. Just in here. I do believe that it would make logical sense to get a sort of back entrance in as well. I mean, I don't see what the difference is, to be honest, but, you know what? I'll go ahead and use the university paths. Yeah, do something like that. Go over here into education. No, not study hall. No, not definitely not groundskeeping. What is this one? Futsal club. No, um, there's a fountain. Yes, get the fountain right there. And we could get like the gymnasium behind that. Let's see, the library should be very near the main road, I think. Commencement office should be on the main road in my opinion we'll get sort of more important buildings down here down near the front of everything a chess club is definitely not important Oh yeah, the auditorium is pretty important. Well, it's actually not as big, big as I thought it was. We'll go ahead and get that over here. The School of Law. I'll get this... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, I'll get this pathway to go all the way on until here.
so there you go, get the University of Law out there. I just realised we don't even have any dorms yet. So I get the Fort Soul Club as well. Get that in there. And I've already got the gymnasium. Math Club. I don't know who the hell would be a part of Math Club, but there you go. Where's the groundskeeping? Oh, here it is. Groundskeeping is a really small building. But we'll get that more over here somewhere. Alright then, so there we go. We've gotten this university area. It's just a normal European university, you know? No different from any other. It takes up this massive area just right here. So the next thing that I'll do is I'll get rid of our university. And I will stick in a bit of a an alleyway where that used to be. So for now, what I'll do is I'll get this tram line. Okay, that is honestly the weirdest merge. But hey, look, if it works, it works. So yeah, this area will have multiple tram lines. For several reasons. 
um, this trim line will sort of be just a so this trim will go up there but it'll actually end here So that's technically a city pathway because it's a different colour and whatnot. Okay, now I feel like putting this stop a little bit more this way. But hey, you could walk down this way and then literally just across like this and then you're already in the university area. Because that's obviously what I mean. <laughs> This tram line goes from here all the way down to here. And this will be another tram line that goes down over here somewhere, wherever. Alright, I'm gonna actually build. Where the hell is the parallel mod? Oh, here it is actually. Yes, same as selected two lane highway. Is 16 too close? No, I'll put 20. What the hell? Yeah, 20 seems fine. Alright, I just think that getting a ringway will be rather helpful. For the future. Just in case there's exponential city growth or whatever.
one. So this motorway will be up. that entire length of time. Do that there, and then here, that is an explain notification, here change the direction of this, and make this into a, just an elevated section, because that bridge honestly looks stupid, it looks unbelievably stupid. It's not that European to get a massive highway to solve all your problems. But that said, it isn't uncommon to find a ringway sort of thing in Europe. That sort of borders your city so that um, it becomes easy to navigate. Traffic can mostly go onto this road. So we will do that, go from there to there. That looks nice and smooth now. But that those are the easy sides. So now we've got a Actually no. This one will be the side that remains at this height. Actually now this side bring it down just a couple of notches.
and then the rest of it should actually be pretty even. So that will be the same height as that. So you go between that point and that point. And then that point will move down quite a bit now. That actually looks pretty good. Everything is high enough so that everything works. Alright, that is good. That'll be a one lane raid up until that point. So this interchange, I want it to be just a little bit different. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and get this road to go on underneath there, a bit lower, not quite that low.
that is basically what I am going to do here. Interchanges sort of everywhere now. go from that point to that point So that is that, that works out perfectly. Alright, so now I just pulled everybody from using this road and whatnot to using this road. So now what we're going to have to do is Make this a higher density road and make just this section a higher density road. Speaking of high density roads, there's that four lane road. And then there's just a bunch of alleyways in this district. Like, actually, a bunch. So yeah, this sort of these sort of parts are let's just say older parts of town. Alright then, so we're going to do something like this, just, it looks weird, but one, I guarantee you once it's zoned in, it'll look much nicer. Actually, this road will be offices.
right. Alright, get a bunch of two buys in there. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that these are in fact commercial just because there isn't enough office demand for all that, for all those offices. So this road was a massive success. It should pull away from people using that, and in fact it does. Yep, that was a really good idea. That has greatly made it um, much easier for people to get around and whatnot. I'm going to remove traffic lights there just because they aren't really necessary are they for the time being at least all right academic year report reputation level recognized academic works too Um, it's nice. I don't know. I just I just felt like reading that because you know it was my first achievement. Campus area info. You are recognised. One thousand ninety-two out of eight hundred students. Definitely much more campus attractiveness. Expenses is higher than tuition, but that is not a problem because I have unlimited money on. But um, yeah, I hope to improve on that as well. The freaking bookstore doesn't even have power. I'm going to get a study hall in just because it is literally the right size. Is this alter? No, I don't know why they're not allowed. I don't know why these two particular buildings are having problems. Because you should be able to get over here. Yeah, I don't know. It's bizarre. Are there a lot of people using this? Not that many, but I mean, there are a few. So most of the people get off here. Some people do continue on to this stop. It's just probably because this is such a, a at such a side sort of position. If we get a tram line that goes out this way and stops right here, then it might become more used. I'm just going to go into tram roads.
Alright then, so that all really does need to be sort of leveled out because that looks ridiculous. Oh, come on. Why the hell does it have to do ground? I don't know how I'm going to do this though, because I feel like getting some trams that go around here. Yeah, I'll, I'll worry about that later. But for now, I'm going to say that this will be our campus area. Sort of boundary by the tram right So there we go, now it is bounded, bounded by this tram road. So that is this university area. Although I will get it to come out all the way over here. Can I get university? Oh, I can get them off the tram road, that's sweet. Freaking massive. You see, two absolutely massive buildings that have to be put somewhere. Actually, this one can go right here. I'll actually get it right off of that door. So for now I'll get something like this. I'll, pr I'll add more soon, but for now I'll have that. Get some shops in there. Nobody wants to build in there, alright, there we go. It's like nobody wants to build in here even though it's prime real estate. It's okay if it's just down the road a little bit. I just realized I've been recording for 42 minutes. I mean, honestly, where has that 42 minutes gone? Because it really does not feel like it.
I mean this could also work if you're trying to get over there or down here out of the city hell is this? Oh yeah, and in Finland you will rarely see a level crossing in a major city scenario. You can see level crossings in more rural areas, but you won't see level crossings in urban areas, generally, unless it's like a very small road. Alright, I'll do something like this. I mean, right now I think that it's sick with all these diverging train tracks and whatnot coming in and around and everything. Just get a couple of little roads everywhere.
some of these roads one way and others not one way. That looks really, really, really complicated, but it really isn't. And that entire block is going to be commercial. And so will everything close to that. That said, that will all be residential. I was like, I'm probably going to get a train station in here, but I'm not going to because the train station is just right there. I will get one right over here, though. Alright, do something like that for now. Apparently you guys are still having garbage problems. What I'm going to get here is a thin line of commercial and then I'm going to get get a couple of things out here and we'll go ahead and get a fire station you know it'll benefit for the greater good they might think oh it's industrial it's dirty it's it's cheap it's pointless and whatnot no it isn't entirely I mean somewhat but no it's just that is a bit of a judgment Alright, do something like this.
what I'm gonna do is this is um college campus it makes sense in a way to get like high schools and whatnot over there as well I mean at this point I don't even know where to put high schools anymore eventually we're probably gonna need some out here so I'll get one there we have elementary schools all over the place get a slightly more modern actually no this area is supposed to literally be even more old town than the rest I don't know what it is about it, it just is So something like this where they all combine is what I want to do with where all the um, the roads combine. So I'll do those two tram stops there and then I'll do another tram stop here next in between those two roads and one right after that intersection and one just here to um, serve the industrial area. I'll get one here preemptively one here preemptively get one in that even though that will most likely become a roundabout get a tram stop just there and then we'll circle around University campus. We'll come up this way. No, just stop right there. Stop right there. Stop there. Stop there. Stop there, and then stop there. So yeah, this line shouldn't be anywhere near as popular, especially because this area isn't even connected up. get something like this in here so where are our 
things are at then. So we have a thing there. And this loop in the other direction will be the tram line that goes down this way. So down this way. And then, I don't know if we'll get another tram that goes this way as well. But we'll see. This area is just going to be an absolute cluster of trams. Currently, traffic is actually pretty good. It's actually amazing in every area, in literally every area, except this little section here. I mean, I can't... I can't make people suffer through that and have that be residential. There's just no way on earth. I mean, I can put offices in here. There's nothing against doing that. But I just can't put residential in there. The good person in me just can't do that to the people that would live there. Come on now. Um. No. Okay, now it's too far in.
know what? It's okay. Just leave it as two zoning. Two deep zoning. I feel like this intersection will need to be a roundabout eventually, but we'll see. Well, this is actually what connects this main roundabout to this road. Quickly. We only have 5,850 capacity here. Media Lab, Chess Club, University Academic Statue. I couldn't give any less craps about something like a statue. I will get a chess club. And then I will get also some dorms. some more dorms. Actually no, I won't get anything off of that path because it's technically not a university path. Just get one in there. All right, then, so that actually is starting to look pretty good. Most of our city is actually starting to look really nice. So this is sort of an old town and I mean we have this little very light industrial section here literally in the middle of it all. and then we have this rail that goes right on over the city right on over this area and then it comes down it's all really nice how many people are using this tram a, l a decent amount of people actually This stop is actually completely useless. Well, I mean, that is actually a fair assessment because there's nothing there. And yeah, it's impossible to get off of that road there. It makes. Alright, it actually may. Hold up. Because the tram is in the middle, which I forgot to factor in these tram stops become completely pointless I'll get a crossing there as well I'll get one there I 
Like this area doesn't need anything yet. Oh, there's actually a lot of people wanting to use this tram. Actually, we'll ride along this tram all the way from here, from the beginning to the end. The light's literally never going to turn green, it looks like. Everybody should be getting off here. Yep, and 184 people get on. Everybody's going out to the university, which is good to see. Oh, a bunch of people get on there. So there's already 210 people on board and we've only gone to like two stops. A lot of people get off, a lot of people get on, which is a good combination to see. <laughs> Minus two plus two, so that stop is actually pretty pointless. Yeah, there's actually a lot of people waiting at these stops. So we'll actually um, add five vehicles to the line. Minus 48 plus 25. Alright. So yeah, there's a lot of tram network in this part of the city. Minus 25 plus 48. This is sort of the slightly more modern, but not very modern part of the city. Like, because the downtown CBD area, that is actually legitimate. Like, old town. Ooh, I like this with all the different tram lanes and whatnot. This intersection is a mess, but we're going to continue on. Stop here. I believe that tram behind us is a. Actually, I don't know what tram that is. I believe it's. No, I don't know. Stop here. Yeah, there's. Oh, I know, there's a new trams that I just spawned in. This tram is actually really, really long. Minus 45 plus 23. Because we're. I know pretty much exactly where we are, and we're not even close to the finish. Well, I mean, we're getting close to the finish. We're halfway, well over halfway. But we're not that close yet. And these are now mostly people getting off, but still, there should be some people getting on, because there's people living here that need to get to work, and work is down here in the industrial. That's just down the road. Nobody uses this road anymore because we got that motorway connection. Minus 7 plus 2, so not that many people actually use this stop right here. In the other direction, it seems more popular. Now, this stop is really popular. A lot of people getting off, but a lot of people getting on as well. Why is this stop so popular? Oh yeah, there's this entire district over here that I completely forgot about. Yeah, this is taking too long. But yeah, there's this district that I forgot to mention. Yeah, I did this. I did a little bit of work out here as well. But yeah, now we have this entire section here. But I think that this will be the end of the high density. I think that the high density will it'll continue up and around like this. It'll be bordered by this train line and then this highway and then the uh, the ocean. Those will be the borders for high density. Out this way 
I think they'll continue out to this main road, possibly out to the highway. I think that the highway box will be the border of high density. And then this train here, this rail here. It's the other box. Because that would be a bit excessive to come all the way down that. Okay, the problem is that this intersection is a traffic light. And that one too. That one kind of has to be a traffic light. Okay, it all it, it's all working quite beautifully to be honest. Alright, there we go, put in some residential. So yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. I know we're in 17 minutes into the episode, but that is going to do it. I hope to see you guys in the next episode, where hopefully it won't be nearly as long. But I mean, some people might enjoy this. I don't know. Me yabbering on for an hour and 15 minutes while I accomplish nothing. Well, I mean, that's it. I have accomplished a lot this episode. I mean, I've built up this entire area. i built a university. I, well, I mean, that's all I accomplished. i built a train line as well. Or a tram line, rather. Um, there will be a train station over here pretty soon. This train will have a stop here somewhere and um, yeah we'll be looking into other things we'll get some stuff out this way as well eventually but that'll do it for this episode I do hope to see you guys in the next one and goodbye